Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a doodle note inside of Cray Studio Pro. All right, so let's take a look at what the final product looks like before we start creating. All right, so let's play this back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and recreate this. So let's start with step one. All right, so step one is going to our shapes up here at the top left corner and then clicking on a rounded rectangle. All right, so now once I got that rounded rectangle, I want to go ahead and expand this out to about 10 seconds or so. And then I want to change the color, all right? So I don't want it to be blue. I want it to be that red kind of pinkish color. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to my settings and then choose color. And you can drag this color wheel around and you can change the hue if you'd like to make it any color that you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose this, this color here to kind of match the original video that we watched, right? So I'm going to choose this color and then I'm gonna maximize it to be the size of my canvas by clicking on this double-sided arrow up here in the corner. And then bam, now I've got my rounded rectangle and it's the full size of my canvas. Um, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add that transition, right? Kind of how it transitioned in and revealed itself. So what I can do is I can come over here to my uh, transitions and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and you can put any of these transitions. These are actually all really cool. And you can hover over each one and it kind of displays what that transition reveal looks like. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a little further and I'm looking for this reveal right here, reveal 15, right? If you haven't already downloaded the specific um, transition you want in the bottom right corner of each transition, there's a little download icon. You click that and then it will become readily available for you to drag into your canvas. So once this is good, I can drag this right here into my canvas. And then now you can see that it'll then whip across screen there and gives it that cool reveal transition. So that's a cool effect, all right? So we've got our background set. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna start working on the note itself, right? So I'm gonna come over here to my media and I've already got my doodle note stuff laid out and ready to be implemented. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag the note in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this onto my canvas here. And you can see that it created it as a blue notebook uh, piece of paper, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and then expand this out real fast. And let's change the color of that, right? So I want this notebook paper to be white. So I'm gonna select this and then go over here to my settings go to color and then drag this to the color white, right? So far so good. And then my next thing that I wanna do is I wanna add the piece of tape that kind of sits up here in the top. So I'll go back to my media and I will drag this piece of tape right onto my canvas here. And again, this will have to be resized as well, um, but let's go ahead and change the color. Let's line it up here and expand it out. And let's change the color of this guy, right? So let's go to our settings with our piece of tape selected and then click on color. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose this pre-saved yellow that I have here, but again, you can move your color wheel, make it whatever color you choose, um, but let's just go ahead and make it this color tape color right here. And then I'm gonna resize it to kind of match the size of my notebook here. It doesn't have to be too overly big, but just enough to get the message across. All right, so we've got that laid out, centered up, and now my next thing that I wanna do is let's add some text, okay? so. By adding text, you come up here to the top and click on the T and you can see it added a little nice little text track for you that we can then manipulate. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it so it starts the beginning with the rest of my shapes here. Expand this text box out. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy some text that I have off screen. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here so you don't have to see me type all these words. All right, so the one thing I am gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna change the font, right? So with my text selected, I'm gonna come over here to font and I'm gonna go ahead and search for, it's the Bowlby 1SC, right? So I'm gonna put that in. Again, you can put any font that you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to what the original scene had, right? Um, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and keep my weight regular, and then I'm gonna go to my scale, and let's make this about 131, and then we wanna make sure that our word wrap is checked on, all right? So make sure that when you click it, you see the little blue there to let you know that it's turned on. All right, so now I can go into my text here, and I can then, just go ahead and hit enter to kind of resize um, how I want this to look, right? And so looking pretty good. Um, I like where it's at. So now from here, what I can do is I can start adding the doodle hand, right? So let's go over here to our effects, right? And then I'm gonna drag in a doodle, right? So once that's there, you'll see it added the drawing doodle effect right here. And then you can also see it in your effects in the right hand side up here, right? So from here, we can change the hand by going into our doodle settings and clicking on change hand. And you can choose any of the hands that are available to you inside of Create Studio Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this permanent marker hand there. And then as you can see, when I play it back, it plays across really fast, right? So to adjust the speed of the hand, all you can do is uh, pull back or extend out the animation here. 
and obviously the longer the animation is, the slower the hand plays, the closer it is together, the faster that animation happens, right? So I'll just expand it out to about right here and let's see how that feels. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got our drawing hand in there um, and we've got the, uh, the doodle hand, we've got our text, we've got our notepad as well as the tape up there and so far so good, right? So let's go ahead and group all of the uh, notepad items into one element, right? So what I can do is let's select uh, the text, let's select the, the tape, and then also the notepad shape. So from here, I can right click and then click on group and we'll call this, we'll rename this group, right click it there, click rename, and let's call it notepad, all right? That way we just know that everything in here is now grouped and ready to go. All right, now one thing I do wanna do is I wanna add an animation to the notepad, this master group right here. So it kind of has a nice little animation in so it doesn't just kind of pop in there and play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my notepad, go over here to motion, and then on my in, I'm gonna go ahead and click on scale, and then I'm gonna go ahead and scale up, all right? So now, when I press play, you'll just play it from the beginning so you can see what that looks like. So it reveals in, and then it has this nice little animation in, and then it starts drawing there, all right? So looking pretty good, we've got our background there set, we've got our notepad made. Now the next step we wanna do is create our Superman. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to studio, and I'm gonna go into the search box here, and I'm just gonna type in Superman. All right, and I'm gonna get all the, everything Superman related is gonna populate into this box, but it's a quick way to search for stuff uh, to look up things really quickly, right? If you haven't already downloaded the specific animation you're looking for, make sure that you click the download icon in the bottom right of the corner of the animation. And then once you have that, then you'll be able to drag it in to our, uh, our canvas here. All right, so there's our Superman character. I can move him around as I need to. If I play it, you'll see that he's waving from his left hand, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change the direction so his right hand is gonna be waving. So with that animation selected, if I go over here to the top right corner of this animation here, you'll see there are these two arrows pointing towards each other. Click that and it will reverse the direction of the animation, right? So now he waves with his right hand, right? Cool, so we got the effect we want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag this animation over a little bit more and I'm gonna expand out his waves so it lasts a little longer. And actually we can just make it last about this long, right? We're gonna end up grouping this in a second, which I'll show you all. All right, so once I've got my Superman body there and I've got my wave, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the actual, uh, the character head, right? So let's go ahead and go up to my media and inside of my files there, I've got our, our boy head here and then we're gonna get the crown. So I'm gonna drag the boy's head in first, right? And I can go ahead and move him and I can scale him down as I need to. Um, let's go ahead and put him about right here to start. And then let's go ahead and drag in our crown. But before I do that, let's go ahead and move the boy so he lines up with the Superman body and is the exact length of that. All right, now next, let's drag our crown in. So I'm gonna drag the crown and let's go ahead and size that down a little bit so that we can then adjust it as we need. All right, so let's start there for now. And then let's go ahead and group our Superman and our, uh, not Superman, but this whole boy and the crown itself, right? So it's got its own group. First, let's line this up and then maximize the link there. So let's go ahead and select both the crown and boy two here. I'm gonna right click and then select group and we'll just call this, we'll rename it and we'll call it um, edit face master. All right, so now when I double click in here, I can see I have the boy and the crown itself. So if I need to, I can go in here and I can adjust the crown. Again, like I can make it a little bigger so it fits his head a little bit better and then I could also adjust the size of his face if I wanted to. But for now, let's go back to the main timeline. And the beauty of creating a group for this is that I can then select it and then move them both together, right? I could also resize them. So right now his head's still a little too big for me. So what I can do is select this group master here, go over to properties and then take my scale and I can just scale that down from this way or I can scale it down from the resizing squares, right? And so I think he's looking pretty good about right there and then so far, so good. All right, so my next step is let's add some, some movement to the head here. So let's select our edit face master and then go over here to motion. And what we're gonna do is select loop and then we're gonna select rotation and then we're gonna click on swing, all right? Now for the rotation up here in these settings, we're gonna make it so that it's about, uh, let's just do 21%. And the amount of time it loops, we want it to be six, all right? 
So now that we've got that set, let's go ahead and drag this swing over to the beginning. And then I can extend it out so that it, you know, remember the longer your animation is, the slower it is, and the closer they are together, the quicker it happens, right? So let's start it with about right, almost all the way, because I want it to have this kind of smooth, steady kind of, kind of head movement, right? So, so far it's looking pretty good. Now what I can do is I can move him a little bit down a little more and just so he has a little bit more realistic of a look here. There we go. Looking all right. Okay, and you can always adjust this and tweak this as you go to, uh, to better your liking, but this is essentially how you can get some movement going on with your bobblehead there. All right, so once I got that, my next step is to group these two things together, right? So I've got my edit head group here, right? And I've got my Superman body. So let's go ahead and just group them all into one master file here. So I'll select my Superman and then the, the group with the head and the crown in it. And I will right click, oops, I'll right click it and then hit group. If I can get this going, there we go, group. And we'll call this, um, just, we'll just call this one Superman. All right, so I'll rename it, right click it, rename and call it Superman. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I need to animate the Superman so he flies across screen, right? So I know that once the hand is finished writing out the text, I'm gonna have him start flying across and, and add a screen, right? So probably about right here is where I wanna start him. So I'll just move my animation to about right here. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is let's make sure our Superman's selected and then on the keyboard, press P and then R, right? So for position and rotation. And what I wanna do is for my first keyframe, my starting point, I wanna drag him off screen. So he's gonna start about right here. And let's go ahead and just give him a little bit of a rotation. I can kind of zoom out here so you can see what's going on. And see how he's gonna rotate a little bit? So he's just gonna fly off screen that way. All right, so then I can select my second keyframe and let's go ahead and keep him in that same rotated animation there. And then just have him end up about right here. Okay, and so now if we do this, there he goes off screen, and then if we play it back, oops, happened a little too fast. So what I can do is, let's A, let's uh, let's uh, recenter that, and then let's adjust a speed of our animation here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, if I put my cursor between the two keyframes, there's a little line. If I left click and drag, I can move it so it happens there. But I can also drag this out so it happens a little slower. And there we go. All right, now I do notice that there's a little bit of a delay from the time the hand stops and then the time that he comes on. So what I can do is I can just move this back a little bit so that we get a little bit of a smoother transition. All right, and there we go. All right, so, so far so good. And again, if you don't like the speed, you can pull your keyframe a little closer to make it faster or pull it out a little bit more to make it a little slower. All right, and again, there he goes and Superman's off and away. All right, so I'll go ahead and trim this guy in a little bit and then we're good to go for there. All right, so the next step is to add in that little pencil and pen that sits in the right corner. So if I go to my media, go to my notes here, and then here is my pen pencil eraser. So I'll drag that into my canvas here. And what I can do is I can then drag this uh, probably about right here and extend this out to the length of my clips here. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of an animation, right? So we're gonna go to our in, right? I'll go to our motion go to in and then go to our position and we're gonna do a top, right? So right here. All right, so right now it just kind of floats up to the top, but we're gonna resize this and scale it down here using these resizing corners. And then we're just gonna set it off screen about right, right there, all right? So now let's see what that looks like when we play it back in its entirety there. So comes in and then the pen and pencil come up and then he flies across screen. All right, so we could have the, let's have the pen and pen, uh, the pencil and the pen and the eraser. Let's have that come up a little sooner, right? So let's say that fades up and this comes in. We want this to happen about right here. All right, and then we'll just see what that looks. There we go. All right, looking pretty good. And there he goes, there goes Superman. All right, so that's how you can kind of create the animations for this doodle note effect. Now, what I wanna do the last step in here to kind of solidify everything is to group everything into one master group, right? So what I can do is in my timeline, on my keyboard, I can press Command A. It'll select everything in my timeline. Then I can right click on one of the tracks, click on group. And now we can rename that group by right clicking, click rename, and we can call it 
doodle note, right? And now we've got the master root file here that we can then, if we select here, we could change the color of our background, the different shapes of the different colors of the tape versus the notepad. Uh, we can then ch uh, change out the text, replace images. Everything is all readily available there um, for quick ease of use, right? So now when I play this back, we've got the reveal, we've got the text with the doodle hand, and then we've got our Superman that flies across screen. All right, so that is how you can create a doodle note animation inside of Create Studio Pro. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.